Hello, I'm Alessandro, and today I want to make a quick video about the new tripod, the Ulanzi and Coman Zero Y. This is a great travel tripod and a great alternative for the Peak Design travel tripod. This one comes in around $350, which is going to be like half the price of the Peak Design tripod. But don't get fooled, this tripod has a lot of great features, which in sometimes will be better than the actual Peak Design. The first one will be the weight and the build quality. Being in around one kilo, so it's around 200 grams lighter than the Big Design tripod. The second is actually the build quality. It feels really premium and a lot of good stuff from the Big Design. For example, the flick locking system from the Big Design, which is actually great because you actually know when the legs are locked or they are open. But the main difference from the Big Design will be definitely the ball head. First, I love that they use this kind of switches for the ball head, which you can actually feel and see, especially in the darkness. When you don't know what you are touching, you can feel the pressure. You can know for sure when the tripod is locked or not. This is a big difference from other tripods where you have to actually move or you don't know if this is actually open, if this is closed, if this is completely secure. Especially during the night, you are not sure when you are doing this kind of stuff. This is different in this tripod. Even in the ball head, when you secure it and you want to move it, you know already when it's open, when it's closed, and you know the camera is secure or not. Also the ball head, different from the peak design, once you extend it, you can actually move it 90 degrees for vertical shooting in both directions, in this one and also this one. Also you can do panoramic shot. Once you move this knob, you can actually move all the way 360 degrees and that's great for composition. You, you are not stuck with only one position in vertical mode. You can move it all the way so you can compose your footage in a better way. I really like the ball head. It feels a bit solid. So once you put even a 2470, it keeps the position of the lens. It won't fall down if you open it. No, it's actually quite secure. So I really like this have this kind of friction that keeps the lens secure. Another great feature of this tripod is the payload. I tried this tripod in very extreme conditions, including using this lens, which is the 100 to 400 millimeters G Master, which is probably the most demanding lens for tripods, especially when you extend it. And I tried some kind of long exposures at 20 seconds of a sunset, and this tripod actually got the picture sharp, even at 20 seconds, and it was a bit windy. Of course, have in mind you cannot use this tripod for extreme conditions in the top of the mountain with heavy winds because then probably the pictures won't be sharp, especially if you're using long exposure. For that kind of situation, you better use a professional tripod which has like 10 kilos or 15 kilos of payload, which is going to be way more stable. But this is not a travel tripod, this is a travel tripod. This will be used more for maybe vlogging when you want to set your camera in one place. You can also do long exposure, you can do time lapses, you can also do astrophotography with this tripod without problem, with a 40 millimeters at 24. It will be more than enough for any kind of Sony camera or any mirrorless cameras basically. So if you're looking for an alternative, you don't want to spend too much money on a tripod, but you want similar features, very light, very compact, I would say this tripod, I will highly recommend it. So this is all my opinion on this tripod. I didn't see too much information about it. So I just wanted to make it myself. So I hope this video is useful to you. I hope you like it. And I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.